one. So the clear underline, the green's not on its spot, the brown's a little bit awkward. Good positional play needed. Yeah, just looking ahead, the green's not too badly placed. I think it will side past the brown, but that's uh, quite a few shots away. But Ronnie will already have sussed that out. Eight. Yeah, if he gets that far, the problem's going to be getting from brown to blue. Fifteen. Sixteen. Anywhere sort of straight on the yellow after this next shot would be good. Because I'm sure the green passes the brown. And then it's leaving an angle on the brown to possibly get to the blue. He's coming around to have a look at the green. So, I mean, if he was to get nicely on the green and leave the white where the green is, he'd have an angle then to get up to the boot from the brown. Yeah, I think that's what he just looked at, didn't he? Leave himself straight on the green. 25. Because you need the perfect angle on brown. You don't want to be playing the brown with too much pace. So a key shot coming up, quick answer the scoreboard, eight points behind. He needs the four remaining colours. And he's overhit it. Well, I suppose, Dennis, if you're going to go wrong side of the blue, better off coming much too much the wrong side of the blue. It's an easy in and out of balk. It's all about pace, this shot. It's all about pace. He's coming up a little bit short. This isn't easy. This is a delicate little shot he's faced with here. That wasn't easy. Has he got the snooker? I think the black is coming to his rescue. Okay, he's fluked the snooker as you can see, but Ronnie O'Sullivan knows he should have clinched this opening frame. Yeah, it was one of those, you're just trying to hold for the black, and, it, and sometimes you just sort of half quit on the shot, and by the time the cue ball reaches the object ball, it's just slid off line. Lucky to get the snooker, he's one point in front. Oh, that's a bit unlucky. That's a bit unlucky. Mind, he's got to get the black as well, Ronnie, because uh, Peter Ebden can still draw. A bit old banana shot, this. Now making certain he pots the pink. Now he's seven points in front, so he'll get another chance. He would have liked this back easier than this. <laughs> and he might have to play it left-handed. He is. Well, can you believe it? On your we could start this first round match with a re-spotted black. Peter's got to be careful with the cue ball. He doesn't let it run into a pocket. We've seen Mark Allen do that against the young Chinese player, pot the black and go in off to lose the match. Well, close to the middle pocket, but... Well, who would have thought at the start of this match we were going to have a re-spotted black in the opening frame, but that's the case. And now you want to win the toss. Peter, it's a tail, Ronnie. Ronnie's won the toss, so what will Peter do? To play a different type of safety these days. It used to be the old up and down the spots for safety. They tend to push it onto the side cushion, a lot of the modern-day players. Which way will Peter Ebden play the black? To the side cushion. 
one. He might be tempted. Just looking at the angle now, I thought he might be able to take the double to the middle pocket and get a good cue ball, but hasn't quite got the angle for that. How's that cue ball going? It's a pretty good shot. Well, this is much more difficult now because of the distance between the balls. Will he try a similar shot? Will he try to double the black up into the corner? He's played it well. This is going to finish in the middle of the side cushion. And Ronnie can get this black behind the black spot on the cushion if he judges it. That's pretty good. Yeah, a few good safety shots have been played. Now this, you would normally think, would be the up and down, but the reason players are always frightened to play in the up and down, in case they had a double kiss. So we're pushing it towards the side. Cushion. I always feel that that shot's okay, but if the, the cue ball doesn't go near the cushion, it's an easy safety for Ronnie. Thin off the black, put the black in the middle of this top cushion, cue ball down at the ball end. Oh, he's overhit it by a long way. What was that? Well, that's a terrible shot, and Peter M's got the similar pot to the one that he knocked in to force the respotted black. tension it's only the first frame <laughs> both players feeling the pressure out there yeah, cross double possibility you could knock the back in here into the left corner and if you don't should be safe enough so Ronnie's had a let off there and this is absolutely inch perfect Peter Edgar now with a big big problem to play a similar shot to the previous one, double it up and down, try and get on the side cushion. And he's played it beautifully again. What a shot this is, by the way. Exciting stuff. It's only the first frame. Oh, where's the cue ball? ball? Sounding like the Beverly Sisters, eh? <laughs> oh, this is a thin one, and this time the white will go near the middle pocket if he pots it. This is much more difficult than the previous one, but keep an eye on that cue ball. Almost missed the black completely. And now Ronnie's got to be careful of an in off to the middle pocket. The reason he's missed the black, he's played it with side to avoid the in off, but that is very careless. A little bit of side, it can throw the ball off at a different angle but he should have knocked that in absolutely no excuse for missing that where is that black going it's going safe Another 18 frames like this, uh, both players will be totally exhausted. This is good. This is excellent. That's brilliant, that safety shot. 
from a psychological point of view now all that's happened here John taking the opening frame is going to give the player quite a boost well true but uh, it seems that they want something very easy to pot played that up and down and played it well once again excellent shot cross double into the left corner Oh, what's going over the corner, is it? It needs to pull up. It needs to pull up. That was the 17th shot on this black. How often do you see that? That's pretty good again if it keeps on running. Oh, it might cut. Wouldn't it be ironic that he pots this after missing a sitter? Well, he did go for the pot, but obviously edging his bet. But it seems at the moment, every time he plays a little bit of side on, he's just not... Well, the cue ball isn't going exactly where he's aimed it, and Peter Ebden could have a go at this, you know. And if you do have a go at it, as he did, make certain you hit it too thin. At least that way there's a chance of getting it safe. This has got to be some sort of record, John. I've never seen so many shots played on a black ball finish. Into the corner pocket. What an exciting opening frame. You can't get better than a respotted black. Ronnie O'Sullivan will be delighted. It's 1 0 in the lead. 